Hello! Welcome to Module 16 of Setting Up a Journal with OJS 3.0, Getting Help. We recognize that there's no way to, for us to include all possible information into our PKP school courses, and this extra module aims to help you discover the different ways in which you can access more detailed support as you develop your journal with OJS 3.0. The first recourse is embedded in your journal's dashboard. Most pages in the dashboard have a help button. Clicking on it will open a sliding window with information about the page that you are on and what you can do there. If you scroll to the top, you'll see you have access to a table of contents. This exposes all of the different help pages embedded in the dashboard, and you can use the hyperlinks to look for information that you need. Or you can use the Previous and Next buttons at the bottom of the page to read through like a manual. This content is sourced from the PKP documentation GitHub and is updated in tandem with software upgrades, so should always be current. If you require more in-depth assistance, head to the PKP main website, pkp.sfu.ca. From the top navigation, you can see there is a link called Support. Under it are the different places you can look for further assistance. The PKP Community Forum is a place where you can ask questions and review questions that have been posed. Here, you can leverage the expertise of the PKP community members. You're also welcome to assist in answering questions and to join in any of the forum conversations. There is a specific area for frequently asked questions, as well as a dedicated questions subform. The documentation link leads you to the PKP wiki page. The wiki is a web of collected information sources. You can use the search bar to look for something specific, or you can dig around through the descriptive links for a more organic search. PKP School is another source of additional information. Here, you'll be able to find courses that are similar to this one and that focus on providing skills training for the different roles within an OJS installation. Finally, the Education and Training link leads you to further resources. Particularly, you'll find user guides that can assist you in developing your knowledge and understanding of different facets of the Public Knowledge Project software suites. And let's not forget that you're always welcome to leave your questions in the comments of this course, and we'll do our best to help you find the information that you need. And that concludes our course, Setting Up a Journal with OJS 3.0. Thank you for watching and learning with us, and we look forward to reading your journals.